My favorite part of the day, breakfast time! What? It's not spinning. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna cook evenly. This is terrible. I can't start my day without bacon. Let's figure out what's going on here. The plate spins freely, which is not a good sign. And the little drive adapter thing spins freely. And that's not a good sign. When you look at it closely, there's a crack right through it. Oh yeah, I can print that. My bacon disaster can be avoided completely if I can successfully print an adapter that the motor can drive the turntable with. I used some calipers to take measurements off the old broken bracket and model up a new one that looks very similar. Alright, now that we've got a good looking model, let's save the STL at a high enough mesh that it keeps all the rounds and everything smooth. And then we'll import it into Simplify 3D, my favorite slicer. And I'm going here and looking at different settings for the nylon, but then I'm also looking at the infill. I want to make sure this part doesn't fall apart. And one of the things I noticed is this gap in the back side. I was hoping to have some infill in there, but the infill amount that I chose wasn't dense enough. So I went ahead and bumped the density of the infill up so that you can see now I've got some, some more plastic in that gap. Now that everything looks good, I'm gonna go ahead and save it to the SD card and take that over to the printer. If you haven't seen the boom mount video I made, go ahead and check it out. It's a pretty sweet solution to getting the best camera angle in hard to reach places. Alright, now that we've printed the part successfully, I'll show you I had three iterations. The first one delaminated because I didn't have the temperature set right on the first couple layers, and the uh, keyed hole is too loose. I didn't like how easily that just came off. I wanted it more snug. So on this one, I still was messing with temperature settings. I eventually just cranked up the temperature to like 235 degrees Celsius for the entire print and increased the perimeters to three perimeters. And this is a very strong print. I'm happy with that. And the keys, or the key fits very snugly. Pressing it in, it's tight. And then also, it fits quite snugly on, in the plate. So I'm happy with both those fits. So now all we gotta do is put it in the microwave. All right, I've plugged in the motor. Now let's get everything else set up. Little carriage and new adapter. Now we just gotta test it out. Should be able to see that moving. Good. Sweet. I like to think that there's two types of people in the world. People that break things and people that fix things. What kind of person are you? Mmm.